Mm. Mm, yeah. You gonna be all right? Oh yeah, just. My mom knows, man. You don't it's have to go broadcasting butt. it all over the place. Mm. My mom knows you love her butt. Is that her butt juice? Ugh, I could go for a salad right now. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions of Corbin. Oh, Rick. I'm not even going to explain that joke. <laughs> if you if you could get it, you dirty, dirty <laughs> boy. Dirty dog. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> what are we doing, Rick? I haven't the foggiest, faintest, freakiest idea, man. Oh, yeah. We got uh, this is a video that's going to kind of help us explain uh, kind of what Brahmastra. Ooh, big Ren Beer film. Yeah. Uh, this is what is the Astra? Ah. And what happened to the knowledge of the Astra after Mahabharata? Mahabharata. So cool. it's going to just give us a little overview, kind of a little hopefully of the knowledge. Because obviously there was apparently a lot of ast whatever an Astra is. Yes. In the film, I yeah. think it's the the I'd call him an avatar yeah. kind of thing. I think that's what it is. So is the study of Astras astrology? <laughs> It, ology is the study of it. maybe it's astra, oh. uh, not astrology. That's very different. Uh, astra, ology, and we. If you haven't seen our Brahmastra uh, trailer reaction, we. If you haven't really, seen really that, if you it. haven't seen that trailer. Um, I'm very much looking forward to that film. Yep, I can't wait to see it. Hopefully in IMAX. It better be. It well, please. I because I didn't see it on the poster for it, but on the Ren Beers film that's coming out in July, the the Shum. Shara or whatever, whatever it's called, another big film of his. We're getting a trailer in like a day or two. Yeah, um, that already says in IMAX for that one. Okay, yeah, they got to do that one in IMAX. I mean, it, it's, it's just begging to be IMAXed. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, I wouldn't see it, but I bet it would also be in 3D. It could, but I, I agree. I agree with I you. I would not I, see it in 3D. I do not do 3D. Yep, it, we it, we don't. It. Uh, you, I get motion sickness. Well, aside from the motion sickness, like I saw, what was the last I think one it I saw? The quality of it the film. does, and you can't film for both three D and two D because you have completely different ideas in your mind as what you're doing for your visual field. And I had seen, I th if I'm not mistaken, Mad Max Fury Road was released in three D with the regular version. And I did it just for kicks or laughs. I don't know if that was the film that did it or not. But I remember, comparatively, it just was a... Most films are just much better looking when you see them in a 2, 2D format. Yeah. 3D is, you know, we're going to make the spear go on camera so that it hits them in the seats. And that was clearly a choice you made just for the 3D effect, not for the storytelling aspect. Yeah. So I've never been a fan, even as a kid. Yeah. Here we go. The Mahabharat War took place in Kurukshetra, a battlefield spanning 80 square miles. Almost every kingdom in ancient India participated in the war and it became known as the Mahabharata War. At the end of the 18 days long war, only 12 warriors had survived. What? Nine really? from the Pandavas and three from the Kauravas. The Mahabharata War resulted in the death of 160 million warriors. 36 years after the Mahabharata war, a civil war broke out among the Vrashnis and Andhikar, resulting in the death of 50,000 of that race in a single day. At around 5000 BC, other civilizations were not as advanced as ancient Indians. During times of war, warriors would use basic earthly weapons such as bows and arrows, swords hmm. and maces. In ancient India, scriptures like the Mahabharat and Ramayan talked about strange technologies such as celestial weapons that could be summoned through mantras, flying viman, men in space suits, space travel, planetary orbits and divine sight. These technologies were quite advanced for their time and showed that 
Indian civilization was far more advanced than other civilizations. The weapon of mass destruction is a term that is used to describe Iraq. nuclear oh, weapons. Sorry. However, the first nuclear bomb was tested in Trinity in 1945. The US then dropped bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which led to the end of World War II. Some people in the modern world still don't realize that some of the celestial weapons used during the Mahabharat war were actually nuclear weapons. Astra refers to celestial weapons. Okay. They are invoked by chanting a mantra and then directed through a medium such as an arrow. Ah. Celestial weapons are not wielded by the hand, but rather they are weapons that are born of the will of the gods. So I'm guessing as that's as like red like beers, fire. fire. Yeah. It require no physical effort to invoke, but intense mental concentration. If improperly used, for instance, if not knowing all the words... Like an incantation. Country, yeah. Or if the weapon is aimed at an unworthy foe, it can be disastrous or even fatal. Like if you try Astra to is a powerful throw it at Shah Rukh Khan. That can destroy a person or an army. Some powerful astra can even destroy the earth and other planets. An astra is said to be precised by a particular god and when invoked, it enters the astra. Some astra returns back to the person who launches it. Some are used only once and others can be used multiple times. Astra can have both physical and illusory effects. Some astras cause destruction with fire, arrows, or radiation, while others can cause mental afflictions like confusion, unconsciousness, or sleep. Each astra has a presiding deity, and in order to obtain an astra, one must meditate and follow a strict austere ritual. Through ascetic merit, one can receive the deity's sanction and learn the mantra from someone who already knows it. While astras are powerful, they can only be entrusted to those who are deemed worthy and have the wisdom to use them responsibly. As rumors spread about the astra, their power may weaken over time. Arjuna learned many powerful techniques from his teacher Drona. But he realized that the celestial weapons were even more powerful when obtained directly from the gods. So Arjuna went to Lord Shiva in search of these weapons. A weapon is ineffective without the sanction of the presiding deity. This is likely because of the destructive nature of astras and the consequences of using them improperly. For example, the Brahmashira astra is said to be powerful enough to destroy the entire universe if it's not properly aimed at an individual or a That's the name of the film. Bummer. What is the mantra to invoke Brahmastra? Run to beer. To invoke a Brahmastra, a mantra must be invoked. It is the Gayatri mantra chanted in a specific way. The process is carried out by altering the sound waves in the ether that Brahmastra got the potency from. The divine sound is known as the Nada Brahma. There are two types of sound. The unstruck or unheard sound and the struck or a heard sound. The unstruck or unheard sound is an abstraction, while the struck or heard sound is the physical world. The unstruck sound is a vibration of either the upper or purer air near the celestial realm. The enlightened yogis seek the unstruck sound called Anahat Nad and only they can hear it. Ahat Nad or the struck sound is the vibration of the air in the lower atmosphere closest to earth. It is any sound we hear in nature or a man-made sounds, both musical and non-musical. So to realize Brahmastra, it is the Anahat sound that is used to chant Gayatri What if they're going to make the characters do that in the film? Yeah. Sound that we use for puja. Hmm. There are great lessons hidden metaphorically in our history from the Ramayana and Mahabharata, such as the knowledge of Astra, the celestial weapons that were the nexus that killed thousands of soldiers in seconds and changed the face of wars. 
It may sound fictional, but weapons of mass destruction were not a myth in the Mahabharat war. Many of them were as powerful as nuclear weapons today. However, the knowledge and technology in those days were the very much limited to a few people. In Mahabharat war, most people who knew how to invoke the weapons died, leaving Arjun as the only one who knew how to use them. Another person who knew how to use them, Ashwatthama, was cursed and forgot all his knowledge. Bummer. Thus, he couldn't teach anyone how to use the weapons. After experiencing the destruction, we don't think that a noble warrior like Arjun wanted to pass his knowledge of destructive weapons to his next generation. Likewise, those who remained from the Mahabharat war were not worthy of such knowledge. So, it couldn't be passed on. The knowledge of the Astra died with the generation. If you are interested in knowing more about Mahabharata mm. and that was the cool. used in it, yeah. it there's going to be so much information. I'd imagine, or maybe not, that the director's going to do it in such a way that it's not going to be. No. <laughs> You're just going to kind of understand it as it goes along. Of, going to oh, make it accessible. Um, maybe. <laughs> I, would, I would think. <laughs> you could, could, could be. Cause the, I, I would imagine, too, because I don't know if I, I sent you this. Dis, Disney, which owns the, um, somehow is behind this. Production house, okay. Brahma Hashtra. Uh -huh. It's releasing it like a normal slate, okay. Just like any American right. film. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> like they, they, like they're good. Just, they're just they're ready to just releasing release it. it. Yeah, With, it, it's on their normal slate, not right? Their sub slate of films. Indian films. Wow. Um. So I guess I don't good. know if that shows you that they're either confident in it or 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 what it shows you. I don't know, but obviously they don't normally do that. Yeah. There's normally one theater around here. RRR got a pretty big release. KGF got a uh, yeah. probably even comparable, a, a bigger one because we yeah. saw that at a different one. Yeah, that we don't normally see right it at, but um, also at least in the trailer, you maybe I don't know, maybe you shouldn't explain it to me. Does Ranbir not know he's I, a weapon? That's my guess. My guess is I was just gonna say that. My guess is in the story, as he learns about the Astras, mm -hmm. we're gonna learn with him. That he is an astro, and that yeah, and what he's capable of, not yeah. capable of, the worthiness, the fact that sometimes this can be used, and if it's at somebody that's in the wrong way, it can go wrong. Wouldn't surprise me if that involves him doing something that inadvertently hurts Alia's character. So obviously, don't know and don't want to know, but my guess is the way they're gonna teach us is as he learns what Apparently, he's what he's capable of. Alia is a. Uh, a character in like represents, I believe, a character in the Hindu mythology as well. Mm. Um, and then there's so many other ones. <laughs> there's a lot of characters. It's, not, it's just we I, talked. We talked about the depth of was we as we learned India's history, and then all of the different stories. It's it's an endless treasure trove of movie making fodder. Yeah. Just an unbelievable amount of great stuff to tell and I, I'm, I'm i'm assuming everybody should be hoping this is going to work out because they spent a a butt ton right on it shows on this, well for india right because i think it was 47 million dollars which for here this would be a 200 200 million 300 million dollars yeah, be a, 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 two, two, a, a marvel plus. level obviously india it's the money is different yeah it's the most money anybody's ever spent on an indian film I, I I get that. So obviously, but they're hoping so that they can make more of these, and it could be a global thing, so they can global spend franchise. more money and make it make it even bigger and better. I hope so. Uh, because the only way you make stuff bigger and better is by getting usually more VFX in terms yeah. of big action films, bigger and better VFX, because that costs a lot of time and money. But you also need good story and of course, good yes. acting. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um. Because just because you've got great visuals doesn't mean you're going to have a great movie. Yep. Yeah, you, you, it's storytelling, so story is king. But, yeah, we do know that there's quite a few cameos in this. We don't know yet, but obviously we do know that Shah Rukh Khan apparently is going to make his triumphant return this year. And we know what we saw in the trailer. Obviously, Big B is in here. Big B. But apparently, Topeka might be in this film. There's rumors that Ranveer might have a cameo in this film. There's, only, there's, 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 there's one face that would cause me to wet my pants. Is if we got a VJ appearance, 
That would be epic. That would just, be epic. Just some random 30 second I just imagine show since up. they're trying to make this a, I wouldn't even say pan India, I'd say world film. They're, they're really trying to yeah. make this a global film. They're going to get maybe some stars from South India to, to get in as, as, Good. as um, cameos, maybe. I don't know. Uh, no clue. That's what I, I mean. I, I, I love do. that they're doing that because we've been harping on this for the entirety of the history of the channel. There's no reason why Indian cinema shouldn't be as globally renowned and anticipated as any other place in the world. When a big movie is released, it should be v released everywhere in the same way like our films are released everywhere. It should be. I agree. Yep. Anyways, if there's other videos that help us explain certain yeah. things that you know will be about the film, because I'm sure we'll get more. Oh, also, I think I sent it to you. Dashar. Oh, yeah! That's yes. super. I think he actually composed an entire song. Which is, Tashar, that cinematic aspect, man. We're very I don't know how many times we listened. It was like, the dude needs to score cinema. His 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 <laughs> creativity is massive. And I know he didn't score. Like, no, no, not, no, no, no. not the main person. But there's but stuff his, in there. His first one is Brahmastra, like one of the biggest Indian films ever. Insane. It's so funny. I'd it's, like to take credit for it. I, I, and I'd like, <laughs> I'd love to talk to him. Because remember when we, when we were in Mumbai, we were talking to him about that. Mm -hmm. And he still loves the composition of the covering of songs. And he's very much a standards as it were you know your four minute kind of song from all kinds of genres i'd love to know how what he's thinking now because remember we were telling him cinema dude mm -hmm. movie scores you could make like legendary movie scores i can't wait and he's like can't wait i'm sure they handed him a butt ton of money and Big they were chip. like get us come on the best song he's ever like, i'll be a composer for your movie uh, I can't wait. I'm so Me too. excited. Me too. Anyways, let us know if there's other videos we can react to to help us better understand our dummy dummy selves. Yeah. Just <laughs>